stars remind me of sun I would love to be that one I'd love to be the one to make you laugh I'd love to be the one who'd always say that I love you back Good morning, friends. Today I'm doing a healthy morning routine and thought it'd be kind of fun to show you guys what I do. So I'm just currently drinking my bulletproof coffee. It is, I think like 8.30 in the morning. And um, after this, I'm gonna walk my dog and then we are going to do some skincare routine. And then I'm heading to my workout class, which is a bar class at 10 a.m. And when I get back, we'll be doing some work and some house stuff. So for my bulletproof coffee, this is like my TGB bulletproof coffee. I'll show you what I use because it's super yummy. And it also I feel like makes a world of a difference in terms of the benefits. So the coffee I use is this one coffee organic fair trade 100% compostable pods. This stuff is so good. You can get it at Whole Foods, but any other grocery store in like the health food section actually carries this brand. And this one's just the Colombian blend at medium roast. Honestly, all other blends are super good. Oops. Then in here, you can see this is like my supplement um, cabinet. I have my MCT oil. This is the Good Goddess Fantastic Fats MCT oil. This is a Toronto um, female founded brand. I love her and her products are so good. She does a lot of like digestive um, type of food and supplement products. So definitely check her out. Then to my fridge in here, this is currently what I have. It's the Lee's Ghee Canadian Maple Infused Ghee. I actually really like the brown butter ghee, but I ran out, so I've been using this one. Once that's blended, I actually go in with my Simply Organics. This is the, like, I think it's the Whole Foods brand. This is the Ceylon Cinnamon. This stuff sprinkled on top of your Bulletproof Coffee is amazing. And you want to go for Ceylon Cinnamon just because it's so much better for you. And like it's a superior quality to just a regular um, cinnamon. So highly recommend this. It is kind of expensive. Like this is $13, but so worth it. So that is my Bulletproof Coffee. I'm going to finish drinking that. I might actually even start my skincare routine and then go walk Josie, and then get dressed for my bar class. So my little like blemish trick is I use my Osea. This is the Essential Corrective Complex, and this just comes on a little roller ball, and I'm just literally gonna just roll it right on top of that blemish, and then pat in, because it's like basically a blend of essential oils that kind of like target the um, blemish. Okay, so I'm leaving soon, so I just want to make sure everything's in my bag. This is just a Lululemon backpack I got a couple years ago. So in here, got to make sure you have your um, grip socks. You can go barefoot, but I don't like going barefoot. I have my little wet brush. Sorry, it's gross, but I need to put my hair back. And in this little truffle case, this is like my everyday essentials. I've got some Purell, some band-aids, a hair tie, 
some mini deodorant. This is the little travel size of the Agent Nature deodorant. It's amazing. Some reactant because I always seem to have allergies. Is that a horoscope? Oh my god. How funny is that? Excellent capacity for making people feel at home. Cool. Um, I don't even know why that's in there. I don't even eat Chinese food to like have a horoscope, so it's so random. Uh, I got these like little mini hair ties. Do you guys ever use these? When I do like French braids, I like these. Um, and I have freaking medical tape. <clears throat> you can guess where I got that from. And yeah, so. Oh, and this is like the best lip balm, you guys. Highly recommend this lip balm, it's amazing. This is the Moon Lip Balm, it's super hydrating. Also, forgot to mention, but in my backpack, I'll carry my Beaker water bottle, or BKR, and a banana, because I sometimes get really hungry. They have amazing, um, what is it called? Midday square bars there that sometimes I will purchase, but banana, for sure. Okay, let's go out in the cold to go to our bar class. And the stars and moon and sun would all align And for a million years and more I'd make you mine Cause all oh, the shades of blue Go away when I'm with you Put a gold frame Oh my god, I just finished my bar class Dying. It was really fun, and now I'm gonna go in for the loving quickly and then back home. Dreams can last forever, cause I still dream of you and waking up together. The guys got cash for days. I don't really care cause all my days got your name on them. Hello friends. So I just got home from my class. I'm super sweaty. I'm gonna shower soon. I ate my banana and I just had a hard boiled egg right now. And I need to make more hard boiled eggs. So I'll be doing that after I go into the shower and shower off. But I do have a little bit of a like shower routine after I finish at the gym so I'm gonna show you that and then I'm gonna show you guys what I like what else I'll snack on and how I prepare some of my food and make a big glass jug of my detox water which I love so yeah let's go typically I would be like naked before going in the shower but because I'm on camera I'm not gonna do that so I'm taking my Joanna Vargas um dry brush and i just start on my arms and i work with my way up and same thing with your legs you're just going to start from your feet and brush up towards your heart and you're just going to do this right all over your body you are going to have a little bit of dead skin maybe like flying off if you have drier skin um, or sitting on your skin which is why you want to do this before you shower and then after I do that, I've been going in the shower with a mask. This is the Josh Rosebrook Advanced Hydration Mask. And I'll just go scoop some of this. Just apply a nice thick layer. And I like applying this before. And then when I get into the shower with like the steam, I find it really just absorbs into my skin and makes it super, super hydrated. That's on my skin, letting it sit while I do my dry brush. And then I'm gonna hop in the shower and do my regular shower routine.
currently just washing my berries. Now, Jay got some berries from Costco. And berries are one of those that you want to get organic, but sometimes it's not always feasible. So you can actually wash your berries and try and wash off any of the pesticides with a nice big bowl of water and then about two tablespoons of some organic apple cider vinegar and you're gonna let these sit for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna strain it and then we're gonna put it in our little tupperware here so it's nice and ready to snack on and put into our yogurt or to put into smoothies. I just like nibbling. Now, another aspect of my morning routine is to take my supplements, which is just in here. Show you guys. I've got a ton of different supplements and stuff in here, as you can see. I definitely will do a video in depth of all the supplements that I take, why I take them, etc. but some of the ones I'm going to take today, I'm just going to put them on the counter. These are the only ones I'm going to take. Now, the reason why I don't do this like right early in the morning is because sometimes I don't eat the first thing in the morning and I have to eat when I take my supplements or else I feel super nauseous. So yeah, I'm taking a Stress Fighter by Welltool. This is like an adaptogen blend. My anti-inflammatory, which is just like 100% turmeric from Well Told. My Hum Daily Cleanse. Just take two tablets of this. My probiotic, this is my Nova probiotic. I take a vitamin C with my iron. You're supposed to take your iron and vitamin C's together. So I'll do that. And I do have like, I wouldn't say I have like a really bad anemia, but I'm definitely borderline. I actually just did like a full blood work um, workup and that includes and I'm taking a zinc and that includes a band uh, I did a vitamin panel I did a complete blood count I did um, a lipid profile like I did a bunch of stuff I can go into depth about that but with that blood work I noticed that my in my CBC my hemoglobin my red blood cells and my hematocrit are on the lower side so that's obviously a sign of anemia But not like super super low I definitely am a little bit symptomatic every once in a while I will like get up and I'll feel dizzy eventually if I'm walking I may feel like I'm going to faint and then I'm taking my bend beauty anti-aging formula and you're supposed to take I believe four which is like crazy so I just take two now and two later because it's too much so those are all the vitamins I take and I make sure that I eat right after or else I feel so so sick so I like having like banana vegetables and stuff like that just to make sure my stomach isn't completely empty when I have those because I'll feel so nauseous and we don't want that so sometimes I like creating like a little bowl of just snacks so that's what I'm gonna do right now and then once I get my snacks I'm going to do a little bit of planning so here's my pantry um, I just got these good thins these are like rice crackers they're pretty low in calories there's really not much to them there's rice flour vegetable oil millet poppy seeds salt mustard flour and sesame seeds so pretty minimal ingredient list um and 12 crackers is 90 calories maybe like six or six or seven i also like a mix of vegetables so i'll do like little grape tomatoes love cucumber so i just pre-chop it because it makes snacking so much easier when i pre-chop everything i'm more likely to snack on something healthier than having to like make it so i'm actually running low so i'm gonna have to gonna have to chop some more up soon this is some of my favorite hummus this is the sabra roasted garlic so i just take a scoop of that maybe like two tablespoons I have some pre-cooked grilled chicken that just for some protein after my workout to help restore rebuild those muscles you don't want them to deplete after you do a workout and then with all those berries I just washed I'm gonna put them in a little bowl 
um, to snack on afterwards. I love snacking on berries because they are low calorie, they're low on the glycemic index, and they're super antioxidant rich. So I find that if I get a good enough amount of berries, then I don't need to take my antioxidant supplement. And if I want a little bit of a sweeter treat, I just made these this antioxidant rich chocolate bark. So I'll just take one and just put it in with my berries. If I've made hard boiled eggs, sometimes I'll put that in too for some protein. But yeah, I just have this and then this and then I'll drink my detox water if I really want something else to snack on. Sometimes I'll take some of my kombucha. So actually in my fridge right here you can't see it but i've got like a row of gt's kombucha which is like my favorite kombucha and that is also what i'll take to my desk and snack on i know it's ugly turning on the news there's people fighting over point of view sometimes it's like there's nothing left to I know it's better with you I was a